Hey champion guitar players, have you ever wondered how the greatest guitar players learn how to solo with that incredible feeling and tone and phrasing? I'm Tom Hess and today I'm going to show you how. Now this is not a video that you can watch like just one time. You're going to need your guitar because we're going to be playing along together, you and I. All right. So I'm going to play a short lick over a backing track and then I want you to play the same short lick over the track in measure number two. Then I'm going to play a second lick and then you listen to that and then you copy the lick in measure four. Okay. Then I'm going to play a third lick and then you copy that right directly after. Okay, so basically I'm gonna play a short lick, you play the same short lick. Then I'm gonna play another lick, you copy that second one. I'll play a third lick, you copy the third lick, et cetera, et cetera. So this is how uh, great guitar players develop their playing, is that they copy licks and they try and master the little nuances, the string bends, the vibrato, the timing, the phrasing, all of that stuff. Now on the surface, all these licks are pretty simple. But as we dive deeper into mastering each one, you'll see the tremendous value when you play along with me in the video. So come back to this video every day for about a month or so and practice your soloing skills and you'll improve a lot more each time. So again, this is how great players learn to master their soloing skills. They keep coming back each day trying to refine and copy licks that they've learned. So we're going to do the same. All right, here comes our B minor backing track. Remember, I play the first lick, then you copy it, then I play the second lick, you copy that, etc. Here we go.
All right, so how did that go? If you've done this for the first time, if you're watching this video for the first time, if this is your first day working with this video, then yeah, it's gonna be maybe a little bit challenging to hear and recognize the different techniques that's going on and how I'm doing the timing and the phrasing and all of that stuff. But as you work with this again and again, a little later today, you work on it again tomorrow, the next day, next week, it'll get easier and easier and easier. Now, if some of the things go by a little too fast for some of you, you can slow this down in YouTube, there's a, the little gear icon on YouTube where you can slow it down to like 75% speed or 50% speed. If you need to hear something in more detail, you can certainly go ahead and do that. If you like my videos on YouTube, you'll love my personalized breakthrough guitar lessons. I'm gonna show you exactly how to transform your guitar playing from just being okay to becoming really awesome. Even if you're feeling stuck right now or if you've had self-doubts or about your, about your ability to play or improve or learn, just imagine how much better your guitar playing will become when you know exactly what to do and exactly how to practice. And you've got the guidance and roadmap to get you there. Now, I've done this for thousands of people over the, over the years. If you do the work, if you practice at least 30 minutes a day on the things I show you and you practice the way I show you, I'm absolutely certain I can help you become the guitar player you want to be. Now, unlike other lessons out there on the Internet, you're not going to get some generic cookie cutter lesson course for me. You're going to get stuff that's targeted for you, customized to you, to who you are, what your goals are, your challenges, your strengths, your weaknesses, your learning style, experience, frustrations, and most importantly, who you want to become as a guitar player. So check out my Breakthrough Guitar Lessons at tomhess.net forward slash guitar and see if they're right for you. And I'll see you on the other side.